So now executing, what you'll see is they will start up my Chrome browser, go to the specific URL, immediately drive and click on that specific link. Now let's look at how we build out these modules. That is done through the scan function. We can scan across multiple layers, for example, applications, which is local desktop, APIs, mobile, PDFs, etc. And the great thing is, irrespective of the scanning layer, it all follows the same principle, which allows all the automation specialists to build up automation across 160 plus technologies without the need for coding. In this case, we are scanning the application, the vehicle insurance application. Once I select it, I say scan, which starts up the X scan utility and then identifies all the objects within the screen. I can go and select from all the dropped, uh, the list items there, or I can use the select on screen function to select all the mandatory fields there. Now it must be noted that all objects are uniquely identified, which significantly reduces the maintenance nightmare that one will face with other test automation products out there. Once saved, we can review the module and even see that we have extracted the drop down list items, for example, the different makes. By seamlessly dragging this module onto our test case section, we can now create another test step where we can fill in all relevant test data and then click for uh, the action mode uh, to go on the next button. So data manufacture, number of seats, fuel type, let's go diesel, payload is 900, total weight is 1000, this price is 80,000, annual mileage is 23,000, and then we add in the click value over there. Now let's execute this. You can immediately see Tosca interacting with the application and driving to the next page. Now to close the loop on this, let's add in another pre-built module called Closed Browser. So by dragging and dropping that, let's put in the title, which is the tab, which is Enter Insurance data, but let's put in a wildcard character just to showcase the flexibility that we have within uh, within the tool. Maybe it's dynamically changing. Of course, right clicking on the test step and running it will close down that specific tab. We've now successfully taken a manual test case and built automation onto it without the need for coding. 